Click subscribe to get latest news and don't forget to press the bell icon. There's only one thing worse than a Democrat politician, if that's imaginable, a Democrat disguised as a Republican. Unfortunately for our country, we have far too many of those in Congress. The recent health care situation playing out in the Senate has allowed us to sort out the true conservatives from the rhinos. We've had enough. The Senate Conservatives Fund, a major conservative group, is pledging to run primary challengers against every senator who votes against a clean Obamacare repeal. These liberal Republicans have utterly betrayed President Trump, the GOP base, and America. After all, repealing Obamacare is one of the top issues Republicans have been campaigning on for over seven years. Every Republican in Congress right now got there by promising to gut it. But now we're finding out it was all a show. These spineless hacks never had any intention of truly repealing Obamacare. They wanted to look good for their conservative constituents. But once in Washington, it was business as usual. Unfortunately, that business is giving in to whatever the leftist establishment wants. It's interesting and sad that Republicans cave to whatever Democrats want. Do the Dems pay Republicans the same courtesy? For months, we've been watching with frustration as these fake conservatives betray us. They've made the entire party look ridiculous by not being able to agree on an Obamacare repeal plan despite having years to put one together. President Trump knows the American people are fed up with Obamacare. His promise to cut the socialist pyramid scheme is a big reason he got elected, and with such a decisive victory. Hard-working, tax-paying Americans hate Obamacare. That's why Trump, seeing the complete dysfunction playing out among Republicans in Congress, offered a simple solution, repeal now, replace later. It's a brilliant idea that comes from a brilliant commander-in-chief. After all, the problem with health care in this country is that there's too much government intrusion, not that there isn't enough. Although our health care system had its issues before Obama, it worked. Obamacare made everything worse. Therefore, going back to what we had before, even without a replacement, would be better than continuing with the current disastrous Obamacare system. And right when we're on the verge of getting that clean repeal passed, these traitorous GOP senators come out and say they can't support it. This madness has gone on long enough. We're sick and tired of our politicians lying to us. And the Senate Conservative Funds is doing something about it. They're hitting these hacks where it most hurts, in their wallets. SCF will fund Republicans who challenge these traitor GOP rhinos in the primaries. If a GOP senator does not vote for the repeal of Obamacare, they will not have support in the re-election bid. It's that simple. That's how you teach them a lesson. We have no patience or time for these faux Republicans. We can't live with Obamacare anymore it punishes tax-paying American citizens. Let's support Trump in denying these liars re-election. When we're through with them, they won't even hold office as dog catcher.